other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, that's still working. Just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. Ow. I'm sure it hurt on some level. Also, chapter 6, The Fall. Very literal with that chapter name. <laughs> they took away the potato! I'm a little surprised you could carry the entire potato, to be honest. Alright, so Gladys isn't here, but neither is Wheatley, and now we're at the bottom of a horrible pit. But hey, we have super fall boots, so at least we don't have to worry about taking damage. We're A-OK. -okay. What is this stuff? What is this texture supposed to be? It almost looks like snow. Would there be snow down here? This giant pile of... something. Reflective. Interesting. Alright, sure. It's funny, the visuals in this game... The game generally looks fine still. Uh, there's just a little bit of a uh, textures being slightly low res than I remember, and like it's just a. Uh, it's probably the flatness of the lighting a little bit looks a little bit dated, but really ne more than anything, uh, the primary thing that makes this game feel like it's three or four years old is just the fact that it has to load constantly. Like, oh, that was five minutes. Of, that's a two-minute cutscene. We better sit. We better go back to looking at a loading screen again. And that's mostly because of the fact that it was on Xbox 360 and I think PlayStation 3, I assume. I th was it... I think it was just Orange Box that wasn't on both? But, uh, I don't know. I lose track. There was a weird thing for a while where Valve wasn't putting games on PlayStation but only Xbox for some reason. But then eventually transitioned to both for something or other. Might have been Left 4 Dead that it wasn't on both? I don't remember. I used to only really play Xbox games and never PlayStation. And then one day just sort of transitioned over all of a sudden to mostly playing PlayStation, and I'm on PC. Because being weirdly loyal to a video game platform is weird and crazy, and people who do that either just can't afford multiple platforms, which you is fine, but a dumb thing to argue about, or uh, there are people who just like picking sides for no reason. Yay. And PC is great. At this point, I use PC for basically everything except for games that uh, are exclusive, which tends tends to mean Japanese in many cases. Either uh, ex exclusives tend to be either first party or like JRPGs and stuff because Japanese developers often have no interest in even trying to put their game on PC. Where am I trying to go? We're a little wide open here. This almost looks like more of a more of a. F uh, Half-Life level than a, uh... Oh, do not enter. That's probably where I need to go. This seems like more of a Half-Life level than a Portal level, if you know what I mean. Don't think I can shoot anywhere around there. Alright, let's just go for a walk then and see if that works out. Maybe I don't, e don't even need my Portal gun. <laughs> do not enter. Keep out. Condemned testing area. Nope. You ain't the boss of me. Ain't nobody. Okay, maybe that door might be a little bit the boss of me. Okay, no, let's just, we just gotta get creative. Let's get creative! There's a reason why neither of these portals are green. Where do I... So I have zoom, but... Oh, hello. That's a big deal. Hip. Howdy. And now I'm above the arena. We can also use a portal here, but do I have a reason to, or do I want to just hop down? Oh, could go over there. This is kind of cool, because it reminds me of those portal shorts you see online. Those YouTube portal videos that fans make. 
that are always they're often about like the char the main character escaping from some sort of facility using the portal gun and stuff like that. And in those situations, they have to be more imaginative and use a creative try to use the portal gun creatively within the context of a civil a actual not civilization a, a, a facility instead of the usual stuff where you use the portal gun in the context of a testing facility. What is this stuff? Wait, I think I actually know what the stuff is, if it is what I think it is, but I won't spoil that if that's what it is, because that is spoilers. I might I might know something about this relating to the ending. I do, know, I do know the story of this game, just so we're clear. Because I did play it way back, but I don't remember the jokes or the puzzles. I just remember the story and, the, and what the uh, puzzle mechanics are. So I know about the light bridge, and I know about paint, and stuff like that. I mean, I've... I even lightly dabbled in the, the paint game that inspired the paint mechanic in this game, and the paint game that is a portal mod that's that where you exclusively use paint. Although I didn't play very much of either. Got some flowing water. Oh, portal surface. It's freaky how the portal the portal friendly spots on these walls are weirdly plastered over. It makes them look like uh like Beetlejuice doors. Hatch reclusion override. Oh. Gives you a three second time limit to get across the room. Four second. Alright. They, they remind me of Beetlejuice doors a lot. Um. Oh, that works. Okay. For those that haven't seen Beetlejuice, you, uh, he could draw in chalk on the wall. There we go. Got it. In Beetlejuice, you could draw you could draw a, do a door on the on the wall in chalk, and it would just create a real door that went to like hell or something like that. Oh, I haven't watched the movie in way too long. That was a neat that was a neat film. Hit. Oh, hi. It looked so dark. I'm so, sort of surprised there's a wall right there. It's almost weird how dark it looked. Alright, I think we can just take the stairs this time. Yeah, I don't I don't remember any of this. This location. Probably because it doesn't even have puzzles in it, really. Or, well, I, mean, I just solved the puzzle, technically. Hello. Oh, hello. That's an odd... I guess I'm used to test chamber looking loading screens or logo based loading screens, so that one caught me off guard a little bit. Here we go. We are deep underground. It's a bit strange even seeing what the bowels of this place look like. Gross. This it's a reservoir. It's the Chocolate River, everybody! Augustus, no! Oh. Also it's acid. Ew, they drew ribs. That makes it way worse. Augustus, don't lean over there. Oh, Augustus, no! I don't even think that's the actual line necessarily. I just, that's just what burns burns into my head. Oh, look at those. <laughs> Low resolution cable physics, that's cute. Every five feet or so, the cable is a separate joint. So it's not really one continuous thread, but more like, it's almost like if Scrap Mechanic, you made a bunch of hinges on an object and let it down and had a physics, except Scrap Mechanic would then crash because that game's engine is garbage and it runs like garbage. Hello. You're interesting. What's in here? Pull lever? Now we're... Oh! Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best, and you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, now, you want to one, one another, another, another and a little bit over, over, so let me introduce myself. myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That, that eager, eager voice you heard is the lovely, lovely Carolyn, Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorary to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Carolyn? Yes, yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. 
Sorry, fellas, she's married to science. That's great. So that was J. Jonah Jameson. Ow. He's also a real person with a real vo with a real name, I guess, but... In the important thing is that he wants pictures of that there Spider-Man. Am I missing something? Hello. Right there. Also, I forget his name a lot, and I feel bad about that, so I can only identify him as Jonah Jameson. Am I good? We're good. Okay. But he was recently, I think he was in Whiplash, the drummer film. He's in a lot of films. He's been around for a long time, and he's a talented actor. And he plays Gabe Johnson. The most meme of characters in this already meme-heavy freaking franchise. Seriously, we thought that people overquoted the first Portal game, but people quoted the second one to death. We're about to get a lesson on that. Not that the dialogue is bad. That, that's the whole thing about... Where's going on up here? That's the whole thing about Portal games is that the people only quote them so much because their dialogue is fantastic. Hit. Ow. That didn't really work out, but I'm fine. Oh, crap. Lost track of which way was down for a moment there. Am I missing something? Doesn't feel like I am. I think I just had to drop down there. I don't know if it's possible to land on this thing in a way that doesn't knock- Oh, knock, doesn't knock you off. Looks like I can. Ha! Gotcha. Alright, cool. Nailed it. Yeah, the, I guess dialogue's not the right word. It's usually monologue. Except it's talking at somebody instead of at nobody. So it's all, it's like dial the entire... Yeah, it's more or less accurate, actually. The entire Portal franchise is dialogue pointed at somebody who can't talk back or won't talk back. Please excuse the inconvenience. There's a little number there. Elevator is out of service until, until 9. 9. 9. 9. <laughs> What is the puzzle here? Is this the right way to go, I assume? I assume it's the right way to go. Ah, uh, this... The memory is setting in for a little bit right now. I remember sp specifically having trouble with some of these levels. Because they don't feel like test chambers. And because there's a bunch of chaotic elements everywhere that make up the environment, it's not always clear to me what the, what the puzzle is or where I'm supposed to try to go. Or what even I'm trying to solve sometimes. Is this is this sign a puzzle? Is there any reason I'd want to like shoot through that hoop or something? No. And none of those walls have portal services on them. Uh oh, am I getting in trouble here? What am I missing? I'm missing something major, right? I'm kinda surprised I can't go anywhere over here, but it seems like I can't. Wait, can I crouch through here? Nope. And I can jump over there, but it doesn't seem to help. I'm supposed to go somewhere. Is it the other side of that wall? Oh, that seems like it might take you somewhere. Okay. We'll try that. The elevator seemed like the place to go, but maybe I'm just supposed to drop down here? Is that what this plank of wood is supposed to do, is indicate that I should go down? Maybe I'm reading into that a little too much. Hello. This doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Ah! Seems to cut you off, geometry-wise. So let's look over- let's keep going up there. Let's take a look another look around. That's gotta be it, right? So they give you a portable service directly below us. And there's a slanted thing that points directly at there. It might even go through the circle. That'd be kind of impressive. Let's see if this works. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, that's terrifying. Sure, okay, got it. There we go. You gotta find the part that you're even able to use. I just gotta recalibrate myself. Tests every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. 
Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. So, this is Cave Johnson. Has a photo of him. Or a painting of him, I'm sure, actually. Local entrepreneur buys salt mine. That answers the question about what's going on below us over there. Spirit of Idaho, top 100 appliance... Top 100 Applied Science Companies, after science number two. The future is here, and it's under the Earth's crust, says Science Maverick. Shower curtain salesman of 19... <laughs> shower... Cave Johnson is the shower curtain salesman of 1943. Best new science company, 1947. Obviously, these are really long time ago. So... Time has passed. Look at the freaking wallpaper everywhere. Everything about this place looks old. The furniture... And someone must have been here. It seems like this may have been Cave Johnson, this may have been his partner or something. Because the entire thing is crashed and broken and literally every every piece of evidence that anyone was there besides the case itself is removed. And this seems to be a lobby going into another testing chamber, much like the ones we have today. But it seems like there was an older facility that they've built the new one on top of. So by falling down we've ended up here in this apparent salt mine. The glistening looks strange. I wonder if that's just what outdated reflections look like? I don't know. It looks weird from here. Maybe... Maybe I have some setting that's not quite right or something, too. Elevator control, down or up, okay. Wait for a tenant to begin lift. Nah, man, I don't need that. You just gotta believe in yourself. I'm gonna defeat the crap out of some aperture science today. Is that the acid pool we were in earlier, I think? Yeah. That's where I went I broke into the side window and went around in the back and came back through here. There's a staircase that comes all the way up here. Oh. Howdy. Kinda of whatever I'm supposed to go down there or not. Hey, the ladder does go back down. Okay. So we could portal way over there. That seems like the intentional spot. That looks like a dead end, but maybe you can get there by launching via Nope. No portals to go there. That also looks interesting. Let's see here. Now I'm over here. Ta-da! Do you guys open? If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Whatever comes out of you is likely to be coal when you come out of the bathroom. That's terrifying. And if it keeps going, then, uh... Come see us. There you go. That's where I gotta go. Let's make it count. Are we not afraid of heights? <laughs> oh, okay, that's not good. Let's, let's go. Let's go. I don't know this. No? We're good? Okay. <laughs> The moment of panic when it feels like it's gonna break. Yeah, that, that kind of fall will really screw with people. All of the catapulty stuff will screw with anybody who's motion who gets motion sick watching video. Or just in general. I have to ride a Gravitron like twelve times in a row to get motion sick. And I have. <laughs> Sometimes you get curious and you're like, how many times can I get in this weird spinning carnival thing before I start to feel sick? The answer's a lot of times. I don't really get motion sick very often. When I talk- when I complain about FOV in a video game and that making me feel weird, it's usually not motion sickness and more, like, headachey disorientation of like, uh, this looks bad. Cause yeah, playing some shooters with super small FOVs is just like, uh, this heart- this kinda hurts to look at. I just... wanna... feel good playing game. Hello? Gotcha. Is this helping me get anywhere, or is this just a- oh, hello. That's- that's probably it. Sure. Oh. Just hop on down. Hey, we gotta see ourselves for a second there. That doesn't happen too often. Hey, that's the thing we saw before. Does this door- does this door help at all, or is that where I gotta go? 
Nope, don't think that's even a door. I don't think that's even a real door. I think that's painted on, which happens a lot in this game. A lot of doors are just painted on. Uh, okay, this walk looks safe. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. <laughs> we do it all from scratch with no hand-holding. So, so that's why their science is so wacky, is that they literally ignore all scientific precedent and just make it up as they go along. Yeah, that's responsible. <laughs> I can't imagine anything going wrong with that strategy. Oh. It's dark down here. Oh, there it is. There, there we go. All okay. Right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. How is that informative? We already knew how gravity worked. I guess if, uh, well, I guess he is saying no hand holding. That means you have to have a control group for whether or not falling off cliffs hurts you. I can't, you can't trust all those hacks from history to tell you that. That's horrifying. Also, you're not supposed to tell anyone they're not in the control group. The whole point is that nobody knows they're in the control group. Or not. Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a diet, uh, dietic pudding substitute? Did you know? It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, the product was pulled from shelves. I can't imagine. You coat the entire inside... This is Flubber. That's, that's Flubber. They just described Flubber, the part where the Flubber goes inside of a person's body and it shoots out their ass. It's like, oh, well, that's... I guess that would... be effective dieting. And there's some tutorialization right there. They just... What is this blue stuff, though? I don't know. Jump in it. Any questions? Pretty straightforward. And this kind of adds that, too, because I could describe it as being bouncing here, too. The interesting thing is that it seems to preserve nearly all or all of your momentum, because if you think about it, I'm jumping from here. It's kind of a big deal. If, to be able to go from one of these cliffs to the other one, that means that it's actually bouncing me high enough to get to the other side. Where pretty much anything that bounces in real life loses momentum with each bounce. So that's why it's called propulsion, uh, repulsion gel, is that it's not just... It's not just reflecting your force, it's actually redirecting it. Is there a bubble around here? Oh, look at that. That is very old and crappy looking, look at that. Okay, so... That's somewhere. Is there a button nearby? Oh, it's over there on the other end. Okay. Sure. Just gotta hop on over. Hit. Boing. Gotcha. And it's gonna bounce around. Alright. You're mine. This, this is a nice touch, by the way. A lot of puzzle games struggle with visual changes. And this is a nice way to change the visual... The, the way that everything's represented in this game mi midway just through. Warned me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> so he's just openly rebelling against everybody who tells him any good advice or ideas, and that answers a lot of questions about how this place exists and how any of this happens. He actively rebels against advice. They say I should stop making pre-recorded messages. I have a great idea. More pre-recorded messages. Talk says he can talk about the control group all day. Which completely flies in the face of the concept of a control group. Which is to give two different people different stuff. One, one, one person getting basically nothing but just thinking they're getting something. One person getting something, thinking they're getting something. And then the, you find out whether or not the placebo effect is a thing. And whether or not that you're actually... You're thinking, it's kind of a big deal. For this next and test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead other pants, we took care of that too. Yay, that's terrifying. But yeah, uh, control groups are important because a part, big part of science is knowing whether or not you're freaking 
test produces results that are greater than placebo. If uh, the placebo has the, has the same or stronger results than your thing you're testing, that means you're not really actually accomplishing any more than the normal variation of- ah, crap. Than what is normally represented by the normal variation of mankind, or even just what so happens when somebody thinks they're getting a treatment, which means that the treatment itself isn't doing anything besides the feeling of thinking you're treated. That said, placebos, surprisingly, are not completely negligible, which is that, uh, basically, uh, oops. A placebo is recognized as a real form of treatment sometimes. Because there are, pe there are certain situations that can genuinely be improved just by the placebo effect on its own. But that's obviously tricky to even figure out how to do. Admittedly. Hello. You seem important. Hit. Howdy. Problem. No bubbles left. But if I remove that thing, we lose this barrier, so I can't go this way anymore. But I might need to go- I might need to go get that bubble and bring it back here. Oh, never mind. I need to go get that here and bring it here, and then we go back to that chamber to use this new bubble. Okay. Uh, hit. Yay! I love these kinds of puzzles where you just have to intuit something. It's like, oh yeah, this mechanic works this way, but we're not gonna tell you, just try it out. Oh, wow, that makes sense. What a crazy idea. What's with the hole over here, by the way? Not sure if you could access much of anything by going down here. Might be able to jump down there, but it seems not entirely possible. It seems kind of like a death pit. Hip! But that's pretty dark that he's all like, Oh, by the way, uh, don't worry if you don't have any tumors. Uh, we took care of that when you sat down earlier. We gave you tumors. So, uh, hope the treatment works, because we already gave you the thing that's the really bad part. Hit! Boing! Motion sickness triggered. <laughs> in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Yep, that's terrifying. It's okay, I'm already dealing with experimental portal guns, what else could go wrong?